Welcome, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. We're just back here laughing behind the scenes. No big deal. I'm Christine Arthur. I'm your host, and I am here with Claudia of Print My Soul. <gasps> nice to see you guys. I'm very happy to be back here with these amazing hosts. <laughs> Sorry, we're just having fun. <laughs> um, so this this is our day two of uh, local design, and Claudia is of a Manchester-based design studio, Print My Soul, and she will be focusing on logo design for a nomadic backpack brand. So check it out, stay with us. We have a really fun show and day planned. Uh, we can look and see what we're doing today on Adobe Live. We are starting out the morning with Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, which Claudia was the one originating. <laughs> well, she's back and she's gonna actually give you some more uh, tips on that. After that, we had photo retouching with Paige, and then we did Adobe XD Challenge with Jessie, and now we are back with Claudia doing logo design, and she will give us some reviews on Discord at the end of the show today. So stay with us. Definitely uh, put in your challenge of the day so that we can take a look and you can get all of that great feedback. Absolutely. Um, I was starting here to find my introduction because yesterday, for those of you that were with us and already know me from previous stream, you probably already know who I am, what I do, but I always notice new names as well. So I think it's nice if we just kind of yes. run through quickly. Um, let's say um, hello to everyone. Yes. First of all, let's say hello so I can see Malik. Woo! Yes. Nice to see you here. And um, then who else we have? Molly Monir, Valdeir, Akin, Vuduval, Malik, <laughs> Marisa. Nice to see you. I like this. Now we're like back and forth yes. name calling. Yes. This is yes. kind of fun. John, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miriam. <laughs> we said big hello to yes. everyone. A big welcome back. Um, to this logo design stream. Yesterday, we started with um, creating the logo. We were experimenting with type. And today, we're gonna dig a little bit further into creating a sticker. Uh, I think we left it off with a pattern. Yeah. We so did. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start it back from uh, from the pattern, and then we're gonna create an animated GIF with Photoshop, Ooh, and what's wait. more, whatever. If you have any special requests, I'm here. I'm available. If I can help, I'm gonna throw myself this challenge. I if like I that. can help, I'll be able to 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 show you something here during this live streaming. That's a very pro perhaps good way of using the chat. So make sure if you are following. I don't know. Those are also living uh, streaming from YouTube. Yeah, you can so, also watch this and watch yesterday's on YouTube. All you have yes. to do is look up, or you can even discover some of the past streams on Adobe Live. So, multiple ways to find Claudia and yes. all of the things that were magically done yesterday. But if we are look, if you're looking to um, chat with us live, the chat is on behance.net slash live. This is the chat that we are inter interacting with. Mm -hmm. And Alberto has a question. Ah, yes, Alberto, special request. How do I get a fetish, fresh sticker from you? One oh, of your fresh, fresh stickers. Fresh stickers. Yes. Well, you can um, send me a message on Instagram. I think we're already connected. <laughs> and uh, I'll be able to, to send you. Usually, I send it when you know people buy my book or a poster. But since you had the special request, you're live. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be more than happy to, to send you a sticker. I still have a bunch of my fresh stickers. Uh, today, we'll see how to create our own stickers. Mm, in particular, as you see here, uh, we have a little lots bit of, of lots of sticker action on our computer. Stickers love, we, stickers love. We love yes. stickers. Yes. I'm collecting new ones as mm. we speak. So, so, and I need to give you a fresh oh, yeah. sticker as well. We need, need to, to share some stickers. Fresh, yeah. fresh. And actually, there are some fresh t shirts as well. I believe, I don't even know. I'm not. I don't I even know it. what I'm doing lately. I'm doing so many different things. I think here, yeah, there is a shop. Um, page on my iamclady.com and you can actually find some fresh t-shirts beside all the plant juiciness that you can find on my mm, website. Love um, it. So I see people, they're still saying hello, getting comfortable. Yes, Danilo Asanin is also saying that I'll butcher his name, which I didn't. I don't <laughs> think I did. Um, I think I said that pretty good. Uh, <laughs> but yes, you are correct. We are going to have chat and win later, and you can win 100 stickers from Sticker Mule. So exactly, exactly like Claude is saying, you can have some fresh stickers of your own. So let's see if mm -hmm. my presentation comes alive here. Yes. Let's see if Take we can us through full yeah, your work and 
Hopefully it's working. Here it is. So again, just a little bit of a recap. You can find more about me on IamClaudie.com and also you can get in touch on social media. Uh, the handle is IamClaudie for uh, Behance, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'm usually pretty pretty responsive uh, for those of you that are in the chat and then send me messages. I had also some lovely postcards and some letters into my studio and I really, I really appreciate this connection and of course you can find me on discord but if you really want to grab my attention perhaps a direct message on instagram is really what i check more often um so feel free to get in touch using um the this <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because i'm <laughs> i can that's so fun don't drink and don't stream. drink and stream i'm like i can't help myself <laughs> and i got a b for saying his name i was like <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'm, an, I'm well, a straight A student, man. Come thankfully, on. <laughs> this is a safe space, as we yeah, always say. This is, thankfully, no punishment. Yeah. We're, we're here. We're just here to learn, not to drink and uh, drink. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah? I'm going to drink all sorts of things now. And I have all my drinks over here. Claudia is a witness. <laughs> yes. We're definitely going to be comfortable. We're ready to spend hours and hours here. Oh, yeah. Here. Hours here. We're and actually not stopping in two hours. Claudia's going to design logos for like the next 15 hours straight. Yes, we actually yeah, no have a bed behind us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we already here. both went to the bathroom, it's fine. <laughs> We're just gonna stay here until the end of ages. Yeah. Until the end. Yes. Of so. time. Um, let's go, let's move forward. We already see. <laughs> yes, this let's show your childhood. Yes, let's show my childhood. And I have I was very lucky to have a very uh, free childhood. I consider myself a very free person and I think that that's a key component that we need to stick in when we start designing and if you're facing this creative industry or if you're a writer, a photographer, um, a designer, I think that keeping that freedom of, you know, keeping your hands dirty and that's why like I keep this photo. I know it's, it's funny is me when when I'm a baby but the idea like, like I got paint all over my arms who cares I'm experimenting you know I want to see how I look like with my skin green or whatever color yes. I'm, I'm mixing there yes. but I think that's the energy that everyone needs to keep no I matter no matter how old you are no matter how long you've been uh, practicing uh, for if you are just starting as a beginner or if you're already a professional that's the fire in the belly that really kept keeps you going in learning new new things. Also, as you probably know already, I love to travel. Uh, and that's why these back, backpack company probably reach out to me because they know me also as a part-time um, traveler, part-time. You're a nomad. nomad. You're digital, all over the place. Digital, digital nomad. I'm definitely mm -hmm. part of the wireless generation. Maybe not in uh, terms of age, <laughs> but definitely in terms of spirit. <laughs> you are in terms of all the things. <laughs> And uh, as you probably know already, I used to be um, a competitive athlete. I used to sail for the Italian Federation team and I used to skate. So I think that also built my determination. And the reason why I share these facts about my personal life is because you build your career, of course, on the skills, but most importantly, on your character. And having this experience, like challenging myself into sports and feeling the freedom of spraying on a wall, that built my confidence and my routine because of course and that's one of the great reasons why I strongly suggest to join the Photoshop daily creative challenges Ooh, yeah. and the live practice 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 that's the key to success I love it so here we go we've talked about a little bit about oh, my yeah. business jewels. and then menace yes. <laughs> <laughs> The UN and the luchador mask <laughs> in the streets. So. I was like, mm-hmm. Yes. I'd be scared of both of those people if I saw them on Actually, the street. Actually, let me, let me see if I can jump. <laughs> Hopefully you're not scared of this version. No, here, I like this next version. Year. It's great. Yeah, but you know. Let's see if we can actually make this happen here. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to go on Behance. I'll say hello to some people out there that are seeing uh, Jennifer Poole, Lisa Bosch, Alberto, Jan Eric is back. What's up, Jan Eric? So someone asked me yesterday, because I did mention that I have a hidden folder. So those Ooh. are my hidden projects. Wait, uh, the so drafts? The drafts, Ooh, yeah. which are really like old projects. I love how you're like, they're like... hidden. <laughs> Because they... nobody looks in drafts. <laughs> They're just like, ah! <laughs> so I actually have those. Um, are the drafts public? Yeah. 
aren't they? Oh, no. No, they're not. No. No. Sorry. No, they're not. <laughs> yes, they're not. Like, <laughs> I was like, no one looks in there. And then I was like, wait, they are not public. <laughs> Let so me correct myself. So as you can myself. see, I, I used to do um, a lot of these um, um, custom... Let's see, probably if we press on edit project, we can have a view. So that was supposed to be me. That was one of my oh, first interviews. That's I so actually cute. created a little uh, dude box, I think they were called. Oh, yeah, yeah. With my curly hair and uh, I love my, uh, my Adidas <laughs> shoes. And that was the brand that I was going for. So that was me with my portfolio. Oh, my gosh. And I actually That's printed so a mini version of my portfolio as well. <laughs> so before I tell you Did you mock it up, too? Of course. I, I did it. the mock-up. Oh, yeah. And then, see, that was the box. Some chocolate, mm. a, a letter Don't inside the box. Don't you miss the days of the handmade portfolio? Yes. I do. So, I mean, these always oh, make an impact. And that's why I, I say make sure that you take your personal project, no boundaries, no limits, stretch it to the possible. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you know, I, I wasn't on a budget and these dudes were like just a couple dollars and I just got some chocolates, you know, like it doesn't have to be a, a super expensive project. Yeah. And even this little booklet, Completely done at home, um, really? with a with a designer knife, uh, normal printer. Uh, so you know, and and those actually designer here, knife. I like that. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> exacto gonna... blade <laughs> <laughs> or designer knife. <laughs> I'm always learning new words. Yes, and I make uh, up a lot of them. So like, that's, yeah. that's a good place of learning. You're like, you know, designer's knife. Yes. I'm like, oh, right, exactly. <laughs> and um, those at the, at the top, they're actually my business card. So to give you an idea of the size of the booklet, um, that, was, that, that was my business card to give a little bit more of weight, mm -hmm. like a little bit of a hard cover. That's great. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's the entire idea. We can leave this page. Um, just to give an idea on how to stretch the projects. And I was here because I was actually uh, looking to show you more graffiti because someone asked me, so I, had a, I had a message on Behance saying, Claudia, you always show us the same photos. Did you do more? <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> I used to do more. I just, again, don't usually show it very often. But uh, this is the typeface that then I uh, brought into paper and then outlined into Illustrator. So exactly, cool. Exactly like we are going to do today and yeah. like we did yesterday. I'm excited to jump in. And then, you know, a sketch became a wall and then became a T-shirt. So I have this little... I was a little heartbroken, so I've done a little heartbroken, uh, mm. color, colorful heart. Mm. So as you can see, we have a little uh, cloudy here, which is like pouring off these colors. And you see my uh, realistic palette made of normal pastels on a on a sketchbook. And that's the final um, wall with a heart, with a juicy heart. I love it. And I, in general, again, as you can see from my book of plants, I always try to do gardens, even mm. with the with my walls. So you have these uh, uh, gardens with the cacti, and then we have this garden of bees, and then we have a circus <clears throat> garden. So I try to keep always consistent in terms of uh, creating the wall. And that's pretty much the same process that then I transfer into Illustrator. This amazing. is what we, when we go with our amazing shortcut command Y to see the skeleton, Mm -hmm. This is pretty much the same thing that happens when you are painting on a wall. So I think that, um, you know, keeping the process consistent and, and learning to different media always allow us to have uh, an idea that we just have to be patient. The work comes together one piece at a time. Of course, before to get to this kind of wall, that's really how it looks like. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's something that we need to do uh, and learn to do with our project as well when we when we use both Photoshop or Illustrator. Don't be afraid if you are not happy with the result uh, that you have straight away because it builds yeah, up. Yeah, it takes time. It builds up. I mean, even yesterday when you were going through all of the work, you started out with your mood boards to show yeah. the evolution of where Actually, your let's, thought let's structure. Jump, let's jump on the mood board. I've seen, we've seen enough graffiti. But since they, they were asking yesterday, I thought, yeah, let's... Let's go and have a look to, to more work. But let's go back. Ooh. Let's hop back. We're hopping back. Our yes. So here. maybe we yeah start with what hop is and yes. the name and everything. Perfect. So actually, we might be might be a good idea to start from InDesign, and maybe we say hello while InDesign yes. launches because. And we also, are. there's chat and win. So if you guys just noticed, there's the chat and win countdown that just came up on the clock. You've got 14 minutes or a little more. And all you have to do to win is be in chat, be present, and 
then you have a chance to win. There's yes. only one winner, we'll announce you, but you will get 100 die cut stickers from Sticker Mule, so it's yes. pretty bad. So I was, um, uh, I, I was actually going up to see something about mm -hmm. the, the knife. Someone made a, made oh, a comment, yeah. but I kind of missed it. I was trying to look at it, but it was something about a, the designer's knife. I will knife. find it, yes. yes. The okay. designer's knife. The client is giving feedback and puts his hand in front of the screen, and the designer pulls out a butcher knife. <laughs> <laughs> the client pulls back. Yes. That's the exact <laughs> knife that I'm talking about. No, of course, I was Very talking funny. about the exactor blade, mm -hmm. as Christine said. Love correctly, it. but again, you know, here we are here to learn new skills, new techniques, and new made-up words that I'm very good at. Creating. Exactly, yeah. she's Claudia Giver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Claudia. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> okay, so let's get back in our brand mood. Yesterday, we talked about the importance of mood board and the reason why we really need to spend time doing our research. Remember, you can always download the template on my website, uh, cladi.com slash resources. You'll be able to use this very mock-up that we uh, are using today. Sorry, this very template that we're using today for um, the mood boards. Of course, you'll be able to input your own information. It just has frame placeholder and is already um, laid out in an organized way. So mm -hmm. you can just go ahead <clears throat> and, and put your own images. So let's go and start to dive in our hop. As we said, Hope is a brand, is a real client, is a brand um, for backpack, for nom digital nomads. The target audience is this wireless generation of amazing people who can travel the world and at the same time work from their laptop, from their tablet. So that's something that we can do and I do thanks to the power of Creative Cloud. All these up, I think during one of the challenges, I think it was challenge number two in the morning, we looked at how light room differs from Lightroom Classic because it's a cloud-based app. That means, in fact, that it's designed to survive in this cloud ecosystem. All these so app, good. all these app connect to the cloud somewhere. Yeah, I don't know somewhere where. in the cloud. <laughs> somewhere in space, <laughs> all our <laughs> images, photography, project are there. And the beauty is that with the use of a tablet and with the use of the desktop, we can access them from anywhere. And that's exactly was the target of our backpack. So designer, creatives, blogger, writers, Instagrammers. I think it's now it's a, it's a full job, isn't it? To be I think so. Instagram influencer. Ah, uh, yes, probably. influencer. influencer. Um, and the main unit. Ooh, I need to drink something. Sorry. Oh am yes, I, am this I is a break to drink. Cheers. Am I allowed to drink? Cheers. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. So, um, oh, we did it. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> we drink and stream. <laughs> I was like, was it time? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> and um, the, the very unique selling point is that as we see, and probably we want to scroll down to our competition, is that a uh, majority of these brands are really kind of male faced in their communication and in their branding, which doesn't necessarily mean that our product is targeted only mm -hmm. for a female public, but we need to embrace a more feminine look with a little bit more round shapes, more soft and rather than having these mountains that as we've seen, apparently all the brands that have been um, working before in this space dig very much. As we can see, we have yep. mountains. A lot of mountains, a lot of masculinity. That looks like mountains. Yeah, and this very sharp, pointy, mm -hmm. A little bit of aggressive mm -hmm. um, feel to it. So we want to go back into our corporate objective, which is of course functional and modern. And once we're going to jump in Illustrator, funky, young, and free. Yes, yes, I like yes. it. And you know, funky in the sense of being able to be flexible mm -hmm. and relaxed. And cool. I think the flexibility comes in with what you were doing yesterday, which was the kind of puzzle-like pieces which you can move around. Should we just jump into that? Let's do it. We're jumping in. Yes, we're jumping in. And also some of these images, they are here in the mood board. You can go back and watch yesterday's stream in order to learn a little bit more of these details. But also we have um, already these images into our Illustrator mood boards. Love By the it. way, I just see my friends, Christine. Oh, her name is Christine as well. So she's here. G give me access to her travel, travel Instagrammer photos that we're gonna use today. Cool. So let's jump into Ooh, Illustrator. I love it. Seeing the boards. Here we are. 
Perfect. So again, I keep uh, an artboard simply for our corporate core because that's something that we always have to go back to. I don't know if that happens to you, but sometimes mm -hmm. I start to go on a tangent with my own thoughts and oh, my yeah. own dreams. Yeah, that I, I did... to put the words there that I'm trying to embody through design. Otherwise, I'm like, ah, oh, this is fun. And then I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it happens to go too far. Yeah. So we have to go back and make sure that all these all these um, personality traits of the brand are very clear in our minds. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's very useful to brief with the clients, but also to find time to debrief and really understand. And then thanks to the mood board, we can translate all these hints and these adjectives that describe the brand into images. Mm -hmm. I've seen on the chat that someone has recognized this iconic Mondrian. Um, yes. Beautiful. Yes. So I'm a big fan of um, art and I'm a museum geek. I'm pretty much addicted. And once I get there, I get lost and I can spend <laughs> days. They try and find you before closing time. Yes. So, <laughs> No boyfriend, parents, friends has survived my museum love. And then when it gets to the shop, you know, like I need to make sure that I get to every single stop oh, yeah. and I'm there for hours. And I just think that it's very nice and inspiring because to me, art is, I see art as symbols and, and symbolism. And that's why I use this uh, inspirational Mondrian piece because to me, that's that's speaking about the functionality and the minimalism and organization of space and that's what you want from a backpack like mm -hmm. that's a backpack that's that is a, a backpack that's a backpack isn't it that's a good clearly. puzzle that yeah. looks beautiful on your back yes and of course we can see more minimalism shapes also into architecture i always try to look into architecture because that's an expression of symbols and design and we have colors from the Bauhaus movement, which was also um, trying to drive a very modernist approach, also uh, very minimal and try to enhance the content. And from there, we start to look into some typography. I really wanted the typography to be more round. You see some very bulky, big text, but at the same time, rounded up and then colorful. Again, I don't know if you've seen the beauty of this age, just, just a little drop of one of the two legs just make it unique mm -hmm. and uh, i love how this is a great example of simplicity and at the same time conveying a personality and uniqueness just with a little bit of a modification from uh, yeah. a classical um, type so at the at the beginning i was a little bit battled between having something a little bit more round because i wanted to uh, convey the sense of uh, femininity there but then i kept being drawing back to this beautiful mondrian so at the moment um i'm working this with you guys so we are literally experimenting we're doing it live yes. <laughs> yesterday we learned how to bring our color palettes from photoshop thanks to the capture service into our libraries and that's why they're here already um let's see if i uh, open yes. up yugam says funky fresh typography is lit Yes. It is yes, lit. Yes. It's on fire. <laughs> so that's why we're drinking so much water today. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're thirsty, because it's on fire in here. So <laughs> let me drink some more. <laughs> Can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, today we're going to start, uh, we're going to keep working on what we started yesterday. And if you were not here with us, I strongly recommend you to check yesterday's stream because we learned how to create um, some guidelines from, um, I think what we're yeah, doing from we a shape. Yeah, we did grids. Yeah. yeah, we did grids from a shape. We did grids from a um, shape. It was awesome. So let's see if we have it here on yeah, some of your my shapes. layers. And you started to create a pattern, which yes. was amazing. That's where we were, exactly. Yes. I couldn't find it. Here is our grid. So we created this grid from a shape. It's a very, very cool shortcut, very easy to do. Make sure that you tune in with yesterday's stream if you want to learn more about that. And we ended up with this um, modern, minimal, chunky typeface and we applied our colorful dulled um, pa color palette in order to give that uh, feminine edge. I still want to 
try to mix it in with maybe some uh, iconography. I have some more drawings here. So I had some leaf mm. um, just because these target audience also references. We have it here. Those are the complementary brands. So the brand that our target audience already uses mm -hmm. and they refer to. And we have a lot of uh, environmental um, brands. So a lot of contact with nature and that's why I was uh, trying to bring, bring in some leaves um, but at the same time I was really liking this idea of challenging the mountains because we say mm -hmm. let's stay away from the mountains uh, but of course there is a reason why everyone referred to the mountains is because it's so iconic right. but I wanted to find a way in which we could introduce this shape in, first of all in a more softer way so getting um, away from the corner and the pointy mountains. But also I thought it could resemble wave as well. Yeah, so it could cool. be a coastline, it could be a mountain. So probably we're gonna use our amazing pen tool uh, to see how we can bring this little iconic illustration. And I also thought that having something so round, maybe we can integrate it with our sharp Love it. We can use Ooh. some contrast. And that's another way. Yesterday we spoke about contrast between typefaces here. When we were having this rounder uh, display typeface and then contrasted with the lighter um, typeface for our text, for our um, title here, for actually the name of the brand, Happy Outdoor People. Happy Outdoor People. And I want to show you, hopefully we'll achieve the same contrast just with shapes shapes that create the letters and shape that creates the icon. But I see that we have about three minutes before the chat, so maybe we can use these three minutes to repeat what we were doing with the pattern yesterday. Uh, I think I was having a little bit of an issue because I have just a few layers. I have just, I don't know if you can see on my Love panel it. here. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> On a my few. layer panel, I, you guys, I have just a few. So it was getting confusing. And also, um, we can work on the, on the actual pattern and I can share with you some little tips which is brand new of Adobe Illustrator 2020. Ooh. I don't know if you Love it. are aware but we can finally copy and paste artboards. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yes. That's, Show us Claudia. Yes. So what we're gonna <laughs> do here is open a new file uh -huh. by pressing command N and we are happy with a um, 10 by 80. Um, actually, let's let's just go and use one hour um, custom made. Mm -hmm. A4 is fine. Um, again, we don't really need to worry about the shape right now. We just really need to open a new document because we're going to introduce our artboard. Love it. So we go back into our branding, select the artboard tool mm -hmm. down here. And you can also use the Shift O shortcut, making sure that we select the correct artboard. Press Command C as if we are, oops, pressing Command C. Oh, something is locked. There we go. We just need to go here. I just need to if unlock have, this layer. Yes, if you ever uh, <laughs> encounter this message, make sure that this little icon here uh, with the locked is actually unlocked. We make our layer visible to make sure that everything is ready to go. People are loving the pattern out there. Yay, we're gonna, we're gonna learn how to create it together. Command C and we come back here, Command Ooh, V, amazing. and we have our artboard and everything that is contained within the artboard. And that's such a useful tips. In the past, you had to recreate uh, the artwork or you can, in the past, the only thing that you could move in between mm -hmm. files were the actual- Yeah, the artwork. Artwork. Yeah. The and factors. then you needed to refit it into Which the- Which was kind of a pain. So yeah. this is an amazing shortcut. Jay Van Denberg has like, <laughs> That's super cool. I mean, what I used to do in the past is literally select the work, press Command V, and go into the new file, and then copy it. And then again, if I here try to do an artboard, yeah, by clicking in the artboard, it's gonna either pick up one of the letter mm -hmm. or just a square. It's become it becomes confusing, and it's much more steps rather than right now just simply copy and pasting the entire artboard with the artwork itself. Yeah, this is pretty so, awesome. I what a I'm... great new treat. Yes, we can delete those. And I think it's time for chat and win. It is almost time for chat and win. There's a lot of people out there. Simon Shakespeare, welcome. He's like, this is fresh. Yes, so should we actually uh, ask a question for the chat and win? Always. Which is the shortcut for 
pasting artboards in a new file. <laughs> that was a challenge. Let's see. Let's start the chat to win. Go for it. Type, type, type. We're back. <laughs> We're back. We're here. Did y'all get that question? It was intense. <laughs> What's the key command for paste? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> command something. <laughs> command yeah, something. Yeah, Jordan's like pew. pew I d I pew, do we pew, paste pew. an artboard from <laughs> one file to the other. You know, just type something, you guys might win. Yes. Really, all you have to do is be <laughs> there in the chat and you have the ability to win. Tiago's there. Oh, hey, look. Jesus is like, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> They're we'll all tell like, you I don't know. <laughs> oh, Control I see a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm always like Apple. I just, do you remember how it used yes. to have the Apple on the <coughs> command? Yes, yes. I still the... say that. I'm like Apple, Apple um, command, whatever. Um, control, <laughs> yeah. um, depending if you're Apple based or um, mm -hmm. Windows based. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I think that ever, nobody fell for this. I would try to make the question seem hard. Yeah. In reality, it seemed you... hard. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Ooh, oh, hey. Akin. Akin. Thank you so much for participating yes. and congratulations. Congrats, you're the winner. You have won a hundred die cut three by three stickers from Sticker Meal. But don't worry, if you didn't win and you're not Akin, then you still have the chance to win. You get a well, I think it's a dollar for 10 stickers if you go to stickermule.com backslash Adobe Live 20. So I think that's a pretty awesome deal. I know I'm yes, going to use it. Yes. A dollar for 10. And let's 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 rem let's remind ourselves to do these stickers because yesterday yeah. we forgot. So let's totally. after we, we we're going to review the pattern real quick now and then we're going to straight jump into the sticker. Let's make this Perfect. little bullet point in our mind so we don't forget to do we'll that. We'll do stickers after pattern. We need to do so many things today. I wish this keep stream us in was check. like four hour stream. We need we need a four <laughs> hour stream to do everything that we need to do here. But let's come back into our pattern. We don't really need this first artboard, so we can select it and press the lead to get rid of it. And we can keep our beautiful pattern. As you can see, the layers here are much neater. <laughs> we can see exactly what we have. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. What you really need to be aware of when you create a pattern is that the, the transparent rectangle that sets the bounding of your actual tiles of the pattern is here at the very, very bottom. That has to be a priority for you to make sure that that rectangle is the last of your layers. In fact, after we do that, we can go into our swatches panel, select all the artwork and drag it into the swatch into fun into the swatch not outside and uh, you grab one of your shapes in this case for example the um, rectangle tool and click and drag making sure that your um, fill is on selected on the top we can go ahead and click yeah. into our swatch and as I you can it. see is done and if you want to change color let's go ahead and change the color make it for example yellow and again, mm -hmm. select and drag to select the entire artwork and bring it into our swatch panel. And here it is. The beauty of this is also that you can also need one artwork and then each pattern gets saved. So you don't need to have a yeah. million of tiles there. It's fantastic. Yes. This so, is such a great way to create patterns that's always going to be uniform and consistent. Perfect. So again, if you want to learn how to make sure that all the top and the bottom match, uh, you can go back into yesterday's stream. I'm just going to show you once for this uh, on the top. So you just kind of remember what we were talking about. All you have to do is to select the artwork that you wish to transfer to the bottom. As, we, as you can see here, if we zoom in into the artboard, we have this little bit of a top that needs to repeat itself at the mm -hmm. bottom in order to tile correctly. So all we have to do is to make sure that we select the artwork, uh, press control in order to trigger, trigger this menu, go into transform, move, 
And remember, all you need to know is the size of the artboard. Mm -hmm. um, this artboard is 700 pixel by 700 pixel, and that's all you need to know. Uh, Illustrator does all the math behind the algorithms and everything mm -hmm. that we don't need to know. We do not want to know. We don't need to know that. <laughs> so, and the other thing we need to know is that we're moving vertically. Yep. So the horizontal position stays the same. That's why I'm gonna put zero there. And the vertical is gonna be 700 pixel. So we're literally moving it down within the artboard. And I'm gonna press preview to make sure that that's exactly what I wanna do. And that's perfect. And I'm gonna press copy in order to create a duplicate. Yeah. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Um, you're gonna have to do the same for the horizontal. Remember, if you're moving towards the right side, you're gonna add 700 pixel, and for the left, it's gonna be minus 700 pixel. And that's it. And then you can keep a color in the background if you want to do so, or otherwise, we need to have a bounding box. So this is a rectangle uh, with no fill and no stroke, we need to, which, which needs to be the exact size of your artboard. And that allows you to create the bounding of the uh, actual pattern. In fact, if we click and drag, if we click and drag and select the entire artwork um, and bring it into our swatch panel, you see that we created a nice. pattern with no background. Let's actually overlay it on top of another color just to make sure that, as you can see, it's Very nice. truly transparent here. And then we so can, fun. we're gonna import that into Photoshop. We're gonna create a label, Ooh, so it. many Yee. things to do. But as we said, let's jump into the stickers. Yes, as um, you jump into stickers, I'm going to remind everyone that the design feedback countdown has begun. In 53 minutes, we will take a look at your Discord submissions from today's Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. Yes. So Claudia will give us some great feedback. Make sure you put your submissions up there. We'll be watching. Today, we actually uh, participated to 36 days of type. Oh, fun. And That's um, right, it's back on. Yes. B, yes. right? Letter B. Letter B today. Good, because uh, I didn't do C. <laughs> no, but she's done some amazing letter A and letter B, and I'm Thanks. like, so after this live stream, uh, I'm gonna have a private tutorial <laughs> session. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you my trick. <laughs> yes, yes, we never leave. We're just gonna be uh, here geeking on. Exactly. Adobe oh, hey, apps Kerwin, all day. welcome. And Lessa, and we have so many other people yes, join. Yes, Jawad, Akeem, everybody's here. Akeem's a winner. And Vuduval is here, always. helping us. Hello. Yes. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for your support. Um, so let's go back into our beautiful hop. I'm kind of like, kind of starting to liking this, the concept. You're like, I kind of like what I'm doing I here. I'm like, yeah, you do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, well, it doesn't happen very often. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, eh, eh, no, You're no, like, no. Oh, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, right? Uh, but then when you start to see the way it works, <laughs> and hopefully we're going to be able to put into some mock-ups, it just kind of like frames it into um, conversation, mm -hmm. start, start to make sense. Yeah, because I think it's great. I mean, that's something that, uh, I think is important to mention is not necessarily about liking, but more about the reason mm -hmm. behind it, behind the, the, the choice that we make. Um, so let's go ahead and have. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I was like, ooh, what was going on there? I uh, like that. Little, little preview, <laughs> little preview. We'll get there. We need to do the stickers first. Little preview. That's why I have so many layers because mm -hmm. they're all like yeah. hidden. Hidden. You're like, oh yeah, I, I did that. Yes. <laughs> I like those. Uh, Big green leaves, those are really pretty. This is a photo that I found from um, Unsplash. Mm, and nice. uh, I've downloaded and we're gonna use it today because we're also learn how to mask images into Illustrator. Ooh, so fun. much creative juice. So much. So let's start to focus on the sticker and uh, just to be consistent and make sure I like to name my artboard so I know what's going on there. Mm -hmm. And what I did is making sure that we select the correct artboard I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little title, press Command, and make sure that I select the new artboard, press Command F, in order to paste in place. I love paste in place. Yes. It's one of my favorites. I try to use it in all the other apps. Like, I like in love Photoshop, it. I'm like, oh, Command F, oh no. In InDesign. I love it. <laughs> Everything, everywhere. So. I'm in my email platform and I'm like, paste, and then I'm like, yes. duh. <laughs> 
Also, something that perhaps is worth mentioning here is that this new uh, Illustrator release of 2020 has this amazing feature of the automatic grammar spell check. Mm, yeah, that is pretty amazing. I have um, turned that on on many occasions. <laughs> yes, so for example, if I add a Z that doesn't really belong to the word stickzer, it doesn't really exist, even mm -hmm. if it sounds cool. Stickzer. Stickzer. Um, we have this new little line that screams error. There is an yeah. issue here. So that's super cool. That wasn't possible before in Illustrator. I actually used to do all my text in InDesign, mm -hmm. make sure that everything was correct. And then I used to come into Illustrator. Now, huge time saver. We don't have to go from one app to the other. Mm -hmm. We can do everything into Illustrator because it helps us already with the grammar. And Chris is asking, what's the command again to paste in place? Command F. So make sure that you select the correct artboard. And I'm going to yes. go back to the spelling or in a control, second. Or Control-Command-V. Command, yes, that's it's the same. Yeah. Yes, paste in place. I think that that's for um, the other apps. Mm. Let's go and have a look. So, OK, no, that's the difference. So command, if you do the, the shortcut, looks what happened, it's going to paste in all the artboards. Yes. And <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> see, we don't, we don't we really don't want, want that. that. We just want, <laughs> we just it want in, one. We just want one. That's why we use that command F to make sure that it's in place. And look what happened. If I select this artboard, you can tell because the outline is slightly darker mm -hmm. here. And I click. On the on the tool, and then I press Command C, and that uh, to copy, and I don't change artboard. It's gonna place place in the same um, artboard, but we don't want that. So we need to make sure that we go Into to the correct artboard. artboard. In mm -hmm. this case, um, it was this one over here, and we press Command F. But we already done that, and just to finish up on the um, grammar uh, cor correction and the auto auto corrector, which is the new feature of Amazing Illustrator 2020. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, you don't see it um, happening on your Illustrator. All you have to do is press Control and make sure that auto spell check is checked. Mm -hmm. So in this case will help you to correct your word. And here we go. We did we did fix we it. We did it. Yes. So let's start with our sticker. Um, in order, should we keep it the same? This color version, different color? Make do something. One color? Do what you want. I was do like, I how want? about that? Okay. I was like, what do you want to do? OK. <laughs> so let's keep, let's keep it like that. I quite like it's it. your hop. It's my hop. <laughs> um, so what I'll probably do is start working outside um, the artboard and then I'm going to go back into the artboard with the final uh, version because remember, there is also this amazing trim view that if ever the clients or your art director or your mm -hmm. senior designer come mm -hmm. in and wants to see uh, what you're doing, but you really want to hide all your messy uh, working space, you can go into view and trim view and voila. <gasps> It's all gone. I'm so organized. You're like, look, client, this <laughs> is all there is. It's just like a super organized work. Yeah, super organized. And in the reality, is not. Yeah. In the reality, we have to use as much space as possible. Again, no fear, just get experimenting. And that's what we're going to do here just outside of our artboard. Yeah. So usually when I um, do a sticker, the first thing I do is make sure that everything is outlined. And you can do that by pressing Command Y to make sure that we have our stroke and our frame and everything is looking nice and clean. I'm going to press Command Y to come back to the normal view. Looks and good. then I'm going to click and drag to make sure that everything is selected, everything that we want to include into our stickers. Now, as you can probably see from our stickers, the majority of the stickers that you get printed, have, especially when they have space in between letters, mm -hmm. we need to solve the problems. How do we put this letter together? Because if we just print the H, the O, and the P, yep. then how do you measure the right distance? We need to find a way to keep it together. Let's keep it together. Let's keep it together. Let's keep it together. Keep Let's it keep together, it together. <laughs> Let me keep it together. So we do that by selecting um, the elements that you want to include into the sticker. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go into Object and Path and Offset Path. Ooh, I and love all these see, tricks that you're showing us. See what happens here. So office, once we click into Offset Path, remember Object, Path, Offset Path, triggers this little window that allows us to decide how much do we want to 
offset. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up a bit because I really wanna make sure that all these little gaps, see before mm -hmm. we had the little gap around the edge, I just wanna make sure that the gaps are all uh, locked in in order to keep it together. Uh, keep it together. <laughs> and also you can choose between having a round join, which gives you a little bit of mm -hmm. a rounded edges. And if that's what you like, go for it. Um, I'm keeping the consistency of the squareness. And for that reason, I use meter. Uh, of course, there is another option that is bevel that mm -hmm. gives you more of this diamond cut. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm happy with the meter. I like yeah. it squared. We're it's gonna, more Mondrian-like. Yes. yes. Very good. We are sticking to our inspiration board. And I'm gonna press OK. Now, as you can see, we have these shapes. And if you wonder where are our, our, our hop type little, little shapes, they're gonna be underneath. In fact, when you offset a path, it creates a bigger path that is still there. If we press Command Y, you can see where they are. We see the little design skeleton. What I usually do, I copy this new offset path. So I still haven't touched anything. This is just the result from offsetting. I'm gonna press Command C to copy, and then I'm going to press Command X to cut it, just because I wanna make sure that it's a separate group. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna press Command F to paste it back in place. And I'm gonna go into my Pathfinder. Oh yeah, and unite. Unite. Unite Boom. the paths. Yes. There it is. And United. I'm going to click on white. <laughs> nice. And then last thing to do, shortcut coming. Send it back. Command shift, left bracket, Ooh. and it's back. Love it. Nice and done. That's a sticker. That's a sticker. That's a sticker. Ready to go. Ready now, to go. Now, if you want to have perhaps a, a bigger uh, shapes or a bigger outline, for whatever reason you like it to have a, a little bit bigger, all you have to do is to click into your path, Make sure that you create a little copy by pressing Alt and dragging. And go back again into uh, Object, Path, Offset Path. Love it. And just bump it up a little bit. Make it bigger. Make it bigger. It, you know, it doesn't hurt to Make try. Make the Offset Path bigger. Yes. <laughs> Press OK. You can unite before or after. It doesn't really matter. Well, all it matters is that you make sure that you understand that there are two different groups. Um, and then we change the color into white and then press it at the back. So um, I didn't cut and paste and that's what <laughs> happened. <laughs> You're like, so things happen. I like the so, thinner one anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah. Uh, again, let me go back a few steps with a command Z. <laughs> well, that's a good uh, way of understanding why there is a process in step in doing things. So let me go back and listen to my own advice. <laughs> I didn't keep it together. <laughs> I didn't keep it together. <laughs> so remember to make a copy and command Z uh, to oh, cut there it. There it is. Good. Yes. <laughs> we have it. And now that we make sure that all the letters are preserved, we can go back and command F, paste it in place, and we can turn it into white. And now we can finally unite it and send unite. it back. And we have it. Nice. So again, you can choose the width of the offset. That's absolutely up to you. Um, you can also add a stroke if you wish. And actually, I'm gonna, I've got another little tips coming here. Mm. So see what happens. Let's add a stroke. I'm gonna go into my pro properties panel and add a stroke here, just a black stroke. So if perhaps we wanna come and drag this into our um, artboard, nice. we'll be able to see the edge of the stickers. Love it. But then what happens if I wanna add another stroke? Usually um, in the past, I used to outline the stroke and then make another stroke and Expand then- Expand it. Yes, yeah. exactly. Do that over and over again. Now I discovered a new process. Oh yeah? I don't know if you ever used that before, but to me it's quite a, a new new way of operating through the appearance panel. No. You can Show actually us. you can actually add more strokes for a single what? image. And you can actually transform it with it the appearance panel. What? So make sure that Zoom you Zoom in. Oh, they need to see this even more. Let's see. Let's see. Even more up close. Let's see. Here. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, so what you can do here is actually add another stroke. I'm gonna show you here, add new stroke. So if you don't see your appearance panel, remember oh, yeah. all you have to do is go into window and make sure that appearance is checked 
and this is beautiful panel that is gonna help us to add infinite strokes. I love it. Design. This is a beautiful panel. It's a very, be it's very <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful panel. panel I can't wait, wait to see what us. it's gonna do. <laughs> I'm already thinking of the multiple things I'm gonna do with this. I'm like, yes, show me it's super cool. <laughs> immediately. So I need we, to know. we can add um, a new stroke uh -huh. and perhaps give it a different weight mm -hmm. and perhaps give it a different, different color. color. And perhaps we can go into our um, can you send it stroke. backwards. Yes, I, I, need, <laughs> I need my stroke panel. I was like, can you put it behind the other one? Yes, I want to see the other one. Can we, can we make a rainbow? That's that's actually made of rainbows. So here we like, go. Yes, please. Oh, In conjunction so with yes. our stroke panel, um, mm -hmm. of course our. Um, I'm with Anthony Jackson out there. He's like, mind is blown. I'm like, like yes, a, literally. So yeah. And I mean, <laughs> who can stop us from adding another stroke? Kerwin, what a stroke <laughs> of genius. Yes. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So I'm actually adding yeah. another one. Please stop yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Please stop me. No, <laughs> I won't. Are you kidding? And we another need to make the red one bigger so we can see it or yeah. put it behind. Yes, or another above. thing that I wanted to show you with this, <laughs> hang on, hang on, we're getting there, is that you can actually add effects. So you oh, can transform yeah. your um, stroke mm -hmm. in this, um, let's see what we can do here, if we can actually transform it. You know. And transform. And we can move it horizontally. This is pretty cool. Look how amazing it is. You can move it vertically. So, I mean, the possibilities <laughs> are never ending here. We no. can just, we can keep, for example, the scale the same. Um, oh, wow. So we have 100% to keep it the same. And I thought and, the blend mode was cool. Yeah, and we can just like <laughs> move it on the side. And imagine for all the typography that we used to do in the past when we have to outline, send it back. Now we can just create multiple mm -hmm. um, strokes here. Uh, and also you can add multiple fills. So, you know, perhaps oh, yeah. if you want to create another layer and you can also reduce it, scale it. So let's see if we can actually. This is great. This is amazing, isn't it? People create are really like, color. what? So look, <laughs> we are doing everything using the same path. There's some minds blown here as far as like how to use these tools. <laughs> well, yeah. when I recently discovered this, I don't know if it's, um, a release of 2020 or has always been hiding mm -hmm. behind the scene. I knew it was there, but I didn't know that you could keep adding strokes. I guess I just assumed you couldn't, so I never tried. <laughs> so probably what is new are these two little yeah. uh, button here, which is add stroke mm -hmm. and add new fill. Mm -hmm. And you can add as many as you want. That's the insanity. So you can use it for typography. Again, if you want to do a little bit of a 3D type, mm -hmm. you can add multiple strokes. I and love this. I found, I said, I need, I need to show it. I need yeah. to show it. And also in order to manage the stroke, you can always use the stroke panel in conjunction with the appearance. Uh, so that's what we did for the, for example, the red stroke. As you can see here, um, it should say that is outside, here it is. The blue one is outside. So that means that we are using the alignment of the stroke outside. Uh, we can perhaps move the red one inside. Uh, so now the red one is inside the black one. Nice. So we have the red one inside. Let me let me bump up the black one a little bit so we probably can see it a little more. Here it is. So we have the um, black stroke, which is in the middle. Um, and then we have the red one, which is inside. And then we have the blue one, which is outside. Mm -hmm. And here, you know, have fun. Make sure that you try all the different. Uh, I haven't had the time. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't had the time to go through this transform uh, option yet. But there are so many things that you can do with it that I strongly recommend to go ahead and try it on your home. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe let us know. I this mean, this is like, like a month's worth of yes. playing around right there in that like, palette. Should we, should, we, should we just try? Hello, this? Christina Clark. Welcome. Hello, welcome in. Hello, Samantha. Samantha. Oh, we got Danilo like, and Eldon. Hi, everyone. If you're just joining us, we're here with Claudie of Print My Soul, and she's creating branding for Hop Happy Outdoor People, which is a backpack company for nomadic designers and mm. others. And but others, but mainly, mainly nomadic designers. Mainly the wireless, <laughs> the, the so called wireless generation. Yes. And um, I'm very tempted to do an offset path here from the appearance panel. Never done ah. it before. We're going to try it here, see what happens. 
Oh, wow. So we can actually, we're actually outlining our stroke oh my into a bigger stroke. There's so much going on there. Hello, so Vanessa. Much going on. Yes. Hello, Mikotage. And of course, we're just <laughs> trying this out. But look at this. So basically, we have Ooh, uh, like the that. white feel, yeah, the yeah. black feel inside the white feel, and inside red stroke. And, and yeah, that's like amazing. And of course, we're just experimenting. Um, the main goal was to show you the possibilities, the, the endless mm -hmm. possibilities. But you know, that's actually not a bad of a sticker as well. I like the white background better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all we have to do, if you want to also see the different views here, um, is just start to get rid of all these different options from our appearance uh, panel simply by using these little eye icons. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little better. And Anthony has a really great question. Where did you come up with the name Print My Soul? Oh, that's a very good question and it's very related to our branding process. Mm -hmm. So Print My Soul is a conversation starter of, because usually the clients that come to me talking about Logan branding, uh, most of the time they don't even know exactly what do I do. And I think that the word print my soul um, was a good way to explaining the way that I work. Mm -hmm. um, so I use the word print in a very archaic sense of marking, mm -hmm. because when we print something, we're actually um, making something appear. We're, we're marking uh, on a piece of paper or it can be on a wall. Old ancient Greek used their mark, um, uh, their trade of oil or fruits, and that was, you know, their yeah. their branding. So I use the word printing in that sense of marking, and my soul is the soul of the client. So I imagine uh, the name print my soul coming from my client, and my job is to mark their soul. I love it. So the soul of the business is exactly what we were talking about before, um, the actual core values. So that's the soul, mm -hmm. um, the adjective that describes the personality. And I'm going to be the one translating into a brand mark. Love it. And then Marissa is asking, are you a one person company or are there others on your team? So I both. That's both. I'm a freelancer. Depends on the project, and Depends right? on the project, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm a freelance, and that's why I have two websites. So IamClady.com is simply about me uh, as a speaker, as a mentor, uh, as an author, and communication strategies, while my Print My Soul is a freelance platform. So it's me and other amazing people at the moment. We are four. Um, Asus Ramirez sometimes help us, well, sometimes, more than sometimes, very often collaborates with us. Uh, then we have Maria, Giovanna, Dimitri. Um, let's see if we actually, let, 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 let give them some credit because they are some amazing designer, a part of Print My Soul, and amazingly supportive of uh, the, the the entire ethos of the way that we work. You can learn more uh, about- Yeah, Voodoo, I'll put your uh, website up there. So oh, thank you so much. You guys can check it out yes. in there and see more of Claudia's work as well as Yes, Her and also you can you can act, you can access Print My Soul, which is the studio directly from I am Clary. Oh, Vudoval, you're super cool. She Perfect. put both website. So yeah, there this is go. this is the answer to Marisa. Both I am Clary is me as a freelance, uh, but of course you can access Studio Print My Soul, which is my studio and working practice that I share with this other amazing amazing freelancer. You can see Jesus Ramirez here. Maria, Dimitris, and we also have Giovanna that has joined us really recently. And unfortunately, she's already in the new website behind the scene, but we haven't updated the website. But uh, she's a, a Italian designer also. Um, and I actually, I, I take this little space to say hello um, to all of them. And they're absolutely amazing. They have their Twitter, their Instagram here. So feel free to go and see their amazing work. I couldn't do what I do uh, without their support. Yeah, so love it. definitely, definitely sending big, big love and to them back in Manchester and Asus is in the Bay Area. So uh, we can we can say hi to him later. Hello. Hello. So here we are uh, back to our sticker, tick one. Um, hope it was, uh, I hope 
I hope that that was. I hope that this hop is going well. I hope, I hope that that was useful. Um, if you're gonna create, I think it was Akin, uh, your sticker, feel free to share it into Discord yeah. and to um, perhaps the other. Um, Maybe it's a sticker with a B. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh bee that's a very cool mm. idea. Then if you do a sticker with a B, um, you can share it into Discord. And we'll do take we have a look the at Discord it in page? thirty minutes. Yes. We're going to have a look into Discord, into the current challenge, or into uh, the main question here, the uh, current challenge, or into the design other. Uh, so we'll be able to, to, yeah, to we'll see the sticker look. as well. And feel free to give me a shout, just at Clary, and I'll be able to, you know, you'll grab my attention because there are so many beautiful design going on there. So let's do yeah, what a are we gonna do next? I'm excited. So let's do let's do the masking first, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the pen tool. Oh, fun! And then about we need to remind ourselves, and we are, have about 15 minutes to jump into Photoshop. Yep. Because we'll have 15 minutes at the very I end after love, Discord. Yes, I would love to do at least one mock-up, and a little bit of a gif. Ooh, fun! We're doing it because remember one of the thing about this plenty of time. This beautiful logo is that it get back into a compact stage. So mm -hmm. I really wanna take the most of the shape and maybe we can create an icon out of that. Um, that's the beauty of using bespoke typography. Marissa, you can post all of your stickers in Discord under today's current challenge or design other. And if it's in design other, we'll take a look at it later and Claudia will get back to you personally. Yes, just make sure that you give me a shout by putting at mm -hmm. Claudia, so um, that grabbed my attention. All now, right. something else that I wanted to show, let me reset my essentials. So if you ever find yourself in a messy situation with all this, something is going on under the table. <laughs> it's I don't like know. just some water, okay? <laughs> you guys, I'm just thirsty. <laughs> I was like, something is going on under the table. I can hear some noise. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's just water. Um, so if you find yourself in a messy situation of being working with different panel, and as I did, put a panel here, put a panel there, and there are panels everywhere. Everywhere. How do we go back into our tidy desk and tidy workspace? Easy. All we have to do is to go back into uh, Essential, if that's what you're using, that's what I'm using at the moment, mm -hmm. and Reset Essential. Ooh, Ta -da! love it. That's magic. And we're back. We are back with our amazing panels. All right. So what I want to show you now, and let me know in the chat if you have done this before, is how to mask into Illustrator. I was about to say Photoshop, but no. How to mask into Illustrator. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to stick with this chunky type is because I thought uh, that... <laughs> it's always happy hour, yes. It's always happy hour. Happy hour. <laughs> we have happy two hours here. Yes, uh, happy two hours. <laughs> yes, never ending. <laughs> Um, so the reason why I choose this uh, type is because I could envision uh, the idea of using textures, and that's something that we can definitely do into Photoshop, but with our endless possibility of our apps, we do not leave, need to leave the Illustrator environment mm -hmm. in order to see how a mask looks like. So in order to have a mask, we need to have some shapes, and we need to make sure that those shapes are placed above the image that we want to mask. And also we need to make sure that these shapes are grouped. So I'm gonna select all the shape and press Command G. Mm -hmm. Now, if the shapes also share the same appearance, so the same stroke, the same um, fill color, you can also create a compound path. The compound path unites the shapes, even if they're not actually connected with their anchor point. So we do that by going into Object, Compound Path, make, um, or also you can do that by pressing Command-8. And let's see actually the difference with a colorful, um, with a different color. So we actually see what happens because that was already all white. So I'm going to click and drag and use my option in order to clear a duplicate. And look what happened if I'm going to create a compound path with this three different colors. I'm gonna make sure that all three shapes are selected, press Command-8, and now they share the same appearance. So if you do not want for them to share the appearance, you have to make sure that they are grouped. But if they are um, actually sharing the same appearance, I recommend to use a compound path because it's just a little bit neater mm -hmm. uh, workflow when creating mask. 
So in this case, the color is going to go away anyway, because we're actually masking. masking. So let's see what happens there. I'm going to go ahead and using one of these anchor points on our binding box and I'll shift in order to transform and have a little bit bigger hop so we can see more of our mask. And all I'm doing is literally clicking on one of the binding box corner, holding shift to make sure that it transforms in a, um, in a protected way so we don't lose the proportion of our shape. And once our shapes are selected, all we have to do is to Alt Shift in order to select the back background layer as well. And we press Command 7. Amazing. And it's done. And once this is done, you can double click into the image and you can actually move the image around. Ooh, yeah, so find like, the right spot. I don't want that dark to show that much. Maybe Ooh, just, oh, yeah. maybe like that is nice because look, like there's like the leaf mm -hmm. going around the O. Oh. So you can actually reposition your image underneath the shape. And once you double click, you're committed to it. You you're can bring it to it. it. Committed to it. We I can bring it. it whatever you want. And it's actually masked. So you can also go back. Um, if for whatever reason you don't want to mask it anymore, all you have to do is click into uh, the shape that contains the image. And then you press Shift Command 7 or Option Command 7, sorry. Mm -hmm. Option Command 7 in order to release the mask. Okay. Now, there is an option if you don't like shortcut to access um, this um, option, to trigger this option from uh, our main menu. And you can do so, make sure to select the path first and also the image below. We can go into Object, Clipping Mask down here, mm -hmm. and then Make. And here we go. Making it. And otherwise, it's Command 7. How, how cool is simple? Yes, yes. Christian. Super cool and simple. Very simple, very awesome. But you have to make it a compound path first. Otherwise, if you do it individually, you'll only get individual letters masking out. Yes, very, very correct. That's the trick. And you can also release the mask from the menu. All you have to do is make sure that the mask is selected and then go into Object, Clip in Mask, and release. And as you can see, that's nice and done. I'm gonna press Command Z because I really like to have these yeah, little like leaves around. And remember, you can always double click and move the image around in order to have a better placement. So we have an idea of how the mask work mm -hmm. in here. Um, do we have, to, I think it's time to jump into the Oh yeah, Photoshop, Photoshop gift making. Yeah, we have 23 minutes. Let's do that. Until we look at everything and in a Discord. Actually, in the meantime, before we do the stickers, uh, we're probably going to do uh, some uh, backpack mock up -ing. Oh, yeah, We're going to try to see. Um, and I'm going to give you now access to the mock up so you can take your time to download it. So what do you think? We, we let them download yeah. the mock-up and then we do the GIF. So, because sometimes internet, I mean, when I travel, I know that depending on where you are, internet can be challenging. So let me share that with you ahead uh, so you can have time to download and then work together. So we can go into I am Clady and resources and you'll find the backpack, backpack. mock-up ready to download is um, a PSD file. So we're going to start and work into PSD. I have to give a shout to Mr. Asus Ramirez because he provided us with this amazing mock-up. Thank you so much. And he's there uh, for you to download for free. Thank you. Um, of course, if you do want more of these resources, make sure to put your email address here. Uh, as I say, Clady doesn't spam. I don't spam. <laughs> I, I don't put... Uh, That's I, hilarious. Yes, Clady Clad doesn't spam. Clady doesn't spam. I don't like spamming. And and uh, I don't put resources very often. So once a month, once every two months. Uh, but if you do want some free uh, mockups for some free templates, or sometimes I just put glossary, or here I have, for example, a cheat sheet for the social media size, everything design related, mainly in Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop, you'll be able to receive, receive it di directly into your email. Awesome. But for now, let's download this backpack. So at the end of the day, before the review, we can actually have a play with it. But let's jump into Photoshop. Oh, yeah. Let's make this Gift nice maker. and wide. Gift makers. We're going to use the timeline. How many of you has already used uh, the timeline? <laughs> I'm like, <Let's> see. me. <laughs> Let, let's have fun. Yes, 
Tell us, chat, if you're um, a gift maker already. Yes, I'm just <laughs> trying to read the chat. Again, props to Asus. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, ah, yes. Chat's got plenty yes, to say, yes, as yes, always. Yes, yes. Good. So here I've started with um, a little um, document which has the Instagram size. If you want to do that, let us let me guide you through it. It's Command N. And I already saved it into my um, presets. And if you want to do that, all you have to do is to make sure that you are aware of the size. In this case, uh, Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. Nice, we've got a lot of people out there who are using Timeline and creating Good. GIFs already. Yes! Um, so make sure that we are working with pixels. Yesterday I thought that I was in pixel, but I was in millimeters, and I ended up <laughs> into like, like, ah. it. was like, it's huge. That wasn't like, the size I was expecting. Yeah. So let's make sure that that's the correct size, and we title it Instagram Post. And all you have to do in order to save it, if it's something that you use very often, all you have to do is to click on this little icon here to save it into your presets. Mm -hmm. So now we can go into our presets. Here it is, our Eastern story. All we have to do is to click. Oops, that's a story. Mm -hmm. Of course, the story has got a different, different size. Let's go back into our Instagram post. And here we have the correct document. Just to keep our Photoshop nice and clean, we're just going to clean up uh, those do those other documents that we don't need. And we stay here with our Instagram perfectly sized post artboard. What I'm going to do is also open the timeline window. If you already have it, that's fine. If you don't have it in your workspace, all you have to do is to go into window and make sure the timeline is checked. And I'm going to go ahead here and create a video timeline. Now there is no elements at the moment, so we need to go ahead and bring in our little letters to make sure that we can have some fun with them. I'm gonna make sure that they are also ungrouped by pressing Shift Command G to make sure that we have single letter. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring one letter at a time. I'm doing so because I really want those letters to be in different groups, sorry, in different layers. So I'm gonna press Command V, Make sure that it's a smart object, press OK, and hit return in order to have um, the, letter, the letter H in one layer. I'm not going to transform it yet because I want to make sure that I have all Do the letters all together. together. Yeah. Exactly. Make and sure they all transform together for the yes. same size. Correct. Beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this real hey, quick. Hey, Jordan Crawford, how are you? Good to see you. And the letter P. So all I'm doing is clicking, uh, selecting the letter, pressing Command C to copy, and jumping into Photoshop, and pressing Command V to paste it. And, and then They all match again. up so perfectly yeah. because you created them from the grid. Yes, exactly. And we absolutely love it. Yes, we do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first layer, and then hold Shift and click on our um, bottom layer to make sure that all the layers are selected. Command T to transform, and I'm gonna click and drag. And I think this is a nice size. I'm gonna start from this corner over here. Hello, I Gustavo. Hi, Gustavo. Jordan, Jeremy. So many, so many new people. Katie, Anthony, Danita. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. So what I'm gonna do here, because I really want to show the uh, that the letters are three to start from. Because what I'm thinking is to have the letters kind of like hopping on the side mm -hmm. one at a time and opening up. Love it. Um, so I really want to show though that at the beginning we do have three letters here. So to do that, I'm going to play with a blending mode of the top layer, mm. and maybe we're just gonna try to. Oh, that's. Yeah, That's that nice. Yeah. That works. Uh, and also we can do, um, while we do that, we can also see how the timelines not only uh, help us to create movement, but also we can change the opacity mm -hmm. uh, during time, during our timeline. So let's go back into our timeline here, trying to bring it up. Let's see, we should be able to move it up. Here it is. And we have our vector smart object. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to rasterize them 
just because I think it works a little bit faster if they're rasterized. And in order to rasterize a layer, all we have to do is select them, press Ctrl and click on the side of the layer and rasterize layers. So yeah. here they are, nice and rasterized. Um, let me see if those are the and correct ones. Jim, maybe we can flip to the other side so they can see the palette behind us because it's going to get a little interesting from where yes. we are. Yes. Um, I'm actually renaming um, the, yes. Yeah. Perfect. Very good call, Christine. Um, I'm actually like, I need to see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm renaming the the <laughs> the layers just to make sure that we know what we are operating on because before it was all like vector smart vector mm -hmm. my vector smart object. No, we have H O P for our happy outdoor people oh. brand, and I'm gonna delete this. Um, I'm gonna actually keep keep the light la white layer the for now. Layer. Yeah, we're gonna nice. we're gonna keep it for now. I'm just all gonna right. rename it background. Then we probably can bring the leaves in here. Ooh, love it. Yes, yes, yes. So as you can tell, we are working from scratch, hoping everything works. If it doesn't work, that's the space where we can actually fix it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So let's move one at a time. Here mm -hmm. we have our letter H, and I'm going to make the time a little bit longer by moving our purple line here. Um, let me go ahead and use this little slider at the bottom here. Uh, to make it bigger so to you can make see it more bigger. time. Yes. Yeah, because it's a little condensed right now. Yes, it's hard to it's too see. condensed. Yep. And then we're going to go letter by letter and take it to uh, a bit of a longer time. And you can always modify that. So at the moment, I'm just uh, going randomly. Mm -hmm. um, then we'll see once we start building up the animation if that actually works. If it doesn't, we're going to either trim it down or we're going to um, add more time. And nice. I'm going to start by the H. So the main thing that you need to remember for timeline is that we need at least two position. One is to start mm -hmm. and one is the ending position. Two. Two. So our letter H starts here from this position where all our beautiful square letters are piled up on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and use this little arrow uh, until it points down and shows all the option. And the option that we're going to trigger here is position. So make sure that your layer is selected here in the timeline. As you can see, it has a little bit of a bolder um, outline, mm -hmm. still white, but a little bit bolder. And we're going to go ahead and click on our time stop. Let's see this little watch here. Ta -da! Time stop, first lap. So our time, um, our time spot position is here, is yellow. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it in time. I think that's a very good stop for uh, the letter H, making sure that the letter H is selected. I'm going to um, click V in order to trigger the move tool. And I'm going to move my letter H up here. Nice. So that's our first movement. And as you can see, it already created another time stop here. It does it automatically. Yay. And if we go back here, you see the movement starts Ooh, to happen already. It's happening. So we go back into our letter O, because that would be the second letter to move and make sure that you select it here. Mm -hmm. Click on the arrow mm -hmm. next to the O and click on our time spot to create our first position. Our first position is going to be in place because I just want one letter at a time to go. Uh, then we can see a second option where all letter goes together, but let's work one at a time to start. And then I'm going to move into my second frame here and making sure that my letter O is selected. I'm going to move it here next to the H. Cute. But now what happens? Because my P was set with a blending mode that needs a layer underneath, the letter P became invisible. No. So we want to make sure that with at this time where the O moves away, our letter P becomes visible and goes back to its normal view color. So we jump back into our P and we work with its opacity here and we create a, 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 a time spot, uh, sorry, a keyframe uh, with our uh, little um, yellow. Is it, what, what is the shape? How do you call this shape in, in English? I have a little uh, bit of a... Square? Square? Is it tilted square? Because it's, it's like, is a... Oh, a diamond. Yeah. Diamond shape. Okay. Yes. 
I, w- I was about to say the name in Italian, but probably one of you will understand me there. So <laughs> our little golden diamonds. A we can find, golden diamond, we can yes. find the name here. Um, and we make sure that the opacity, sorry, the blending mode is back into normal. Now to make sure that the starting point of the opacity was the previous blending mode, which I believe it was a uh, lighter color, we need to make sure to create another stop, which was at the beginning, which is the lighter color here. And we need to make sure that we add that into our timeline. So let's see what happened. Here is, is the transparency. Mm-hmm. And here we need to make sure that is into normal. Let's see if that's working. We're having some issue like, with your hmm. positive. Let's see, let's do that again. Let's do that again. I'm gonna press Command Z and go back into our P. So let's remember all we have to do is to add two, sp- and also we have to move the P. Uh-uh, I thought I was finished, I wasn't finished at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep here where the O is still overlapping the P. Uh, we're gonna create our first uh, spot, our uh, first diamonds, where the opacity is into lighter color. I love it, il rombo. Um, yeah. <laughs> Daniela, Daniela says il rombo. Thank you, Daniela. I was like, what? I was like, how yes. Do say, how do you say that in English? <laughs> and they were like square, and I'm like, I don't think you said that, that's not a square. Yeah. Uh, I know how to say square, I don't know how to say diamond. I didn't know you guys call it ni- diamond. Well, it? it's a rhombus, but you know. Oh, it's rhombus? Yeah, it's a rhombus. Oh. But I mean, it's got a diamond shape to it. Is that Italian? Yeah. In English? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and create a second opacity. And also, we need to move our letter P here. Let's see. Oh, right. Into our side. Yeah. So let's see if that's. I'm having a little bit of a issue with the P's, letter P. P is difficult today. Yes. Let's see. Let's try it again. Difficult. <laughs> As I said, everything is from scratch. So let's go back to our O. So so far, if we play it, we have our H moving and our O Ooh. moving. At the moment, we're Ho. Ho. We need to get into Ho. What's up, Ho? We need to get it into Hop. Mm-hmm. So oh. at the right timeline here, where the O is away, we create our position for the P and we make the P normal, and then we trigger another position here, moving the P. Let's see if that happens. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. So it looks like the positioning is moving. We just need to work on the opacity. So perhaps here. Yeah, I didn't the... know that you could do the opacity in that way. Yes, I've not done that before. you can, but I need to make it work. Okay, let's see if that works. And mm. here the opacity is to normal. Let's see. Let's see if I'm doing this correctly now. If not, I'll get back to you into Discord later to solve this problem. Ooh, I still love this animation though. We love the animation. Let's yeah. see. Let's let it play out. Like let's that. let it play. Here it is. So this is how to make it work one at a time. Mm-hmm. And also you can also you can always bring in more background here. So we can perhaps change the color of the background um, or bring in, let's see if we can bring our leaves. Um, so in order to bring the leaves, we're gonna have to release our mask and create a copy of the letter Sears and press Command C and bring it into this layer. Everyone's loving the animation. Good. I'm glad you guys like it. Just give it a little thinking second Mm -hmm. to bring the um, leaves. And I'm gonna hit one of these bounding box in order to make sure that it fits. Ooh, it is looking cute. So we have the pretty leaves and the animation. Let's see. Isn't that cute? Yes. So the way that you can speed up the animation or you can perhaps make it longer is simply having a play with this timeline here. So the more you zoom in the timeline, the more will allow you to move things back and forward. So for example, let's try to make this going a little bit faster. You can actually select, click and drag to select this point. And actually, let's see if we're going to bring it back from one frame. I'm gonna do the same with the O, click and, oops, not onto the layer, only like, onto hey the little yo. diamonds. 
here. Hello, ho. Hello. Let me select those. Oh. I want to select you. Yeah. Select both of you. They're like perfect. We did it. And then I'm going to do the same with the H, but because the first one is already at the origin, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this a little bit backwards. And this should work and result into a faster yeah. movement. Yay! Ooh! They're moving a little bit faster. Yeah! Now, if you want to make sure that you don't have all this space, uh, which is empty of any movement, all we have to do is bring this little arrow back, make sure that we... Um, place the at the end let's see that's too much the, I think that P is here so we can bring all of the timeline per each layer back so we can perhaps start to trigger a repeat action so we have a little silk nice. going. Yeah, make it go forever yes let's forever, make it go forever ever. and as you can see with this by doing so we're just cropping all the rest of the time that we are not using and we just kind of focus on the time where our little gif is moving towards Yay. there we this go is great and let's see i think it just is already like going on oh over yeah and over it's repeat and over i love again. it isn't that amazing f smittick says stellar animation yes yes and you can export this for your Instagram post and just use it for your Instagram as a video. I think it's just Is a there video. a way to make it go forward, backward? Or do you have to flip, like du duplicate mm. the animation? I'd always wonder that. I think, I I will assume that we'll have to duplicate. duplicate it, yeah. Exactly what I've done before, just but like then, click and drag the little diamonds right. and just place it into, uh, unless you know anything different. No, I don't. Different. That's no. what I was curious about, yeah. No, I think you will have to repeat it at least right. as far as I know. Yeah. Um, um, no, I don't do much of animation yet, even if I think that is very interesting to do animation and to use it into Everyone's our like, social this media. Is amazing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, probably it's good to learn how to export it as well. Mm -hmm. So we know. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's show so. everyone how to export it. Let me bring the end of the animation here. And Yay. once once you're happy with your forever animation, well, first of all, <laughs> forever animation, we I can add it. some music into it as well. That's something oh. that I like Even to do. Shot. Let me see. Do we have enough time to add some music? Let, let's yeah, see if not? I do have some track available. We can here. always uh, go a couple extra minutes and then hop into Discord after let's that. Let's see. Let's see. I have. I think I have it. I think I downloaded a track from. Um, a DJ from the south of Italy, which is called DJ Graf. Let's see. DJ Graf. Here it is. Here it is. We can actually use. Uh, a long time ago, I actually I asked him permission mm -hmm. to use the the track. Oh, cool. Um, there we go. It's all about love, and he was very kind in granting in his permission. So, hopefully, still valid. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. He's, he's an amazing person, a musician, and and. He writes poetry with his lyrics, and uh, he does he does rap. He's been doing rap for such a long time. But let's see if we can actually click and drag the auto track here, where it says audio track. I'm gonna go back into my folder. Oops, I lost and it. And then we can make sure that our volume is up so that people oh, can yes, hear it yes, too once correct. we get it in there. How cool! Let's see if we can actually open it into our. Uh, I think that's gonna play in iTunes. Oops. Something is happening here. <laughs> I'm getting stuck into We're like, I dance. Something is happening in here. I, I don't really know, but I, um, I danced for it. So. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to have Christine dancing for it. I was like, only love is what you need. Okay, Eric finally. Stew. Where are you? Yeah. Sorry, Eric. Sorry, Eric. Sorry, Eric. I can't help myself. I'm always going to sing She about promised Eric that she was not going to sing, but. No, I it's promised my fault. I would sing. I was like, let's sing to Eric Sue. You're like, we'll lose viewers. And I'm like, will we though? <laughs> if I sing, you don't want me. I can provide music. I can be the DJ, but I'm not going to get singing Eric here. Eric Sue. So I finally managed to drag um, the actual uh, music <laughs> into okay. Photoshop instead of iTunes. Instead they don't of really singing. want that. Yes. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> and all we need to do is to make sure that we go to the very end of a track. Oh, it's yeah. way longer. And we track bring is way it back. Too long. That would be a forever track. Yes. So all I've done here is literally dragged it into Photoshop moved it on the side and go back and crop it back. Mm -hmm. Let's crop that Let's song. Back, 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 back. <laughs> when you have, and actually probably that's a good advice, when you have um, such a long track, I suggest to bring the view into much smaller view so that becomes much more manageable 
and time saving rather than going mm -hmm. forever and see like lines forever <laughs> and ever and ever. <laughs> so let's see, like that it should be um, working. Let's try. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And that's if that's you know perhaps you want to get to a more um, lyrical part of the song because that's just the introduction. Yeah. Oh, you just drag it backwards. Just drag it I backwards, love it. and then we could expand just expand the length. Say the word love over and over again. Yes. Let's love. See. Yeah. yeah. So just need to make it a that little bit like a little like, meme. Love. Yes. <laughs> and so. <laughs> <laughs> Need hip hop, and that's 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 a my friend is a hip hop DJ. So we totally. have the hip of the music, the, the hop, hop of the brand. Yeah. Couldn't be more on brand. Um, exactly. All of my clients are gonna actually use that because that's this is great. very fun. Now I personally spend a huge amount of time with my uh, when I introduce music because uh -huh. I think it's very yeah. good um, to have an idea on how to play the track, make this sure so that you are. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of people out there in chat, who knew you could put music yes. into Photoshop? That's a very good gifts. question. Should we this just play? So cool. Should we just play one more time? Yes. But I don't know. I just yeah. moved the truck around. I'm ready so for it. Let's go. Love and happiness. Ready for how our happy outdoor people? Yeah, right. We don't be more <laughs> grand. Happiness. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> so we're actually doing a little little advert here. That's um, amazing. Yeah. Yes. Well, well, we're doing it. Okay, so we're ready for Discord, even though I don't want to leave this music, and oh, I'm no. super into it. I'm gonna Hold share on, the link of DJ Graph later. Enter full screen mode. Yes. Okay, okay, you guys, we're getting into Discord. We're gonna do some feedback, and then we're going immediately back into Photoshop <laughs> and listening to some music because <laughs> it's dead silent in here unless we put that on, and it's so exciting. Okay. So let's see, we've got, oh, let me go back to We can go noon. back, back, back. All right, this is the first one from noon. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So the already, already, the other have been reviewed already? Have they? These? I don't know. I want to go back, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. All it's today. a lot. It's a lot. We're we'll just going to pick some. 10, 25, from this the one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Ooh, that was a Ooh, blue. Sig. Yes, yes, beautiful. So nice. today's challenge again was to embrace thirty-six days of type with letter B, and uh, I'm a fan of DJ Pack. Sorry, I just kept my my attention. I was looking forward, and uh, Alberto got my attention with DJ Pacman. Um, but yeah, let's go back into the B. Sorry, guys. So today challenge was about brushes. We used the iPad to learn how to work with brushes, but the challenge was also uh, possible into our desktop app. Nice. Now I would love to know if those are done into the iPad or desktop. It would be amazing to see. What yeah. do you use? But Tell it looks sig. Like, this looks great. There is a little bit of bevel and emboss as well. I think. Yeah, and look at the yeah. The dunes. It looks almost like the dunes are a sea. And wow, that looks fantastic. Very big. Oh, and look, it put like a leopard instead. Of, is that a leopard? Yeah, instead of the panther. Yes. I love panther it. Panther. So we can get real into it. <laughs> yes, I love the sky as well. I love the way that you guys have actually taken your own dreamland and edited because I did provide an image, but I it's love amazing. to see a mix in between the file that I provide and the works that you guys do. That's beautiful. Okay. You, Jennifer now has a huge library of brushes. Yes. This Spe is not a bee, but we can look at it. Yeah, that's, that's solid number two. Okay, then we'll go through and we'll move into challenge. Yeah, yes. number three. So Diamantina. Oh, wow, Ooh, that's cats. really, oh, kitty. Digital bee. With cats. Kitties. This is, is like your kitty? the Matrix. Yeah, is that your kitty? That's really cool. I love the. There is like a photo or something. I mean, I'm not a cat person myself, but I do like that there's a moon back there. A cat person. Yeah, I know. Thank you for sending the cat this morning. So this morning I was starting Unthank the challenge. Thank you for sending the cat. And I was I introducing Discord and then I saw a cat. I'm like, oh my God, I'm all about a cat. Oh my <laughs> God. I would be like, ugh, <laughs> cats. Send nice it to job. Me. I like the bee. This is cool. And uh, you can tell that w what we did today was using masking techniques mm, yeah. into Photoshop. And it looks like you, I, th I love the consistency in I having like the this moon. matrix and um, atmosphere and using a typeface that recalls yeah. a little bit of technology. Um, so very well done. And the brushes underneath looks very cool. Plus kittens. 
I mean, you get That's a thumbs up cool. just for the kitten. Sorry, sorry, Catherine. All right, Snow Dot E. Catherine, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I kind of look like one anyway. <laughs> Jesus is like, we're no longer friends. I'm not a cat person. I was like, that's cool, man. That's fine. I don't need any cats in my life. We um, actually used the uh, Asus cat for challenge number one. You know the name of his cat? No. Chad, do you guys remember the name of Asus Ramirez's cat? Let's see. Let's see if someone remembers. It's, it's a very easy name. This is cool. I just like, you know, zoom oh in on Oh my, look at that brushes Whoa. there. Dream I love me. the way they use the brushes. I would this love to cool. know what brush is there. And look it looks like this. a Kyle brush. Looks like a Kyle brush. Could, yeah. could be. Tell us if it's a Kyle brush. This is nicely done. It's very beautiful. I love that the way they are oh. layered on one on top of the other. I as like well. this person's name, Mia Morluna. Mia Morluna. Mm. Small cat name is Gattino. I love that they're like. Small cat, Gattino. Yeah, Gattino. That's like I know, Italian, well, right? Like little cat, because cat is Italian. Marisa, you got it right. Asus Ramirez Mr. cat Meow. is called Mr. Meow. That's so funny. <laughs> This is great. That's so lovely. It's so wild. And look at this. This is a different it's take on the pyramids. It's very Salvador Dali-like, but yes. of now. And then like the spaceships. And I love the way, look at the pyramids, because we used to have mm -hmm. pyramids. Oh yeah, from yes. day one and two. So they're looked from a, like a satellite point of view. Yeah. Very, very exciting. All right, Leo Evergreen submitted two. Looks oh, cool. nice. Which one do you want to look at? Let's look at the first one. I love yeah. that tile color. All right. How beautiful is... Look what's going on back there. Oh, there's trees. Looks like sunglasses. <laughs> We're both like... I know, I'm like... <laughs> That's super cool. I would like to know... Oh, oh. oh, it's a bunch of sunglasses. Yes, well spotted. Thank I, was, you. I was like, it's a motorcycle. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That's, that's and cool. then we got trees. Yeah. Super cool. Nice bee. Yeah, yes. Damien oh, let's see. Marst. Mark St. Dennis. Yes. Got that's it. A little bit more mm. similar to what I was doing and yeah. using the splatter Cat. graffiti, graffiti splatter menu. I like menu, this. The splatter brush. Splatter brush? Yes. It's super cool. All I, all I can think now is menus, menus. Cranky Chris. Let's oh, see. there's a cat in here. Oh. B With is the for Bagheera. Oh, the, oh, oh Bagheera. gosh, there's cats in there. Cat eyes, too. Oh, my God, that's so What's with so all the cats, amazing. you guys? Was it, like, all the cat show because, earlier? No, it's just that I get, like, I got a little bit stuck into a cat picture oh, before. Is that a work? You're like, stuff? so I had a cat thing. I like it. Thank you for making my days, cool. guys. And also, Bagheera is in uh, the Jungle Book. Cat. Oh, yeah, totally. And it's we, that and, cat. Yes. Yeah. So very well done. And I love the eyes and the ears. Super creative. Lease candle. Ooh, I like this one. It's very different. It's got a bee. Yeah. It's got a bee because it's a bee. And we have the bee, bee on the flower. the flower. Very, very nicely done. Mm -hmm. I love to see um, like completely different shadow. different takes. Totally. And uh, symbols. I would like to know. You've done. Look at that. There is a Sassy. little flowers. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So. I the remember Ceci from yesterday. Do you yeah. remember that she did the pyramid? Yeah. And she actually used more contrast in the in Put the them all trees. Together. Yes. So very well done into taking the the feedback in because she's she's already. I remember everything was magenta. Yeah. But she's um, actually upgraded the tree into the cyan and then married that with today challenge marrying the cyan and the magenta together. Super very nicely cool. done. We'd like to know what brush is There's that. No it almost looks like stitches. Yeah, it does look like stitches. Sassy. There's no bee there. We're going to go into Marisa. Beautiful. Well, that's a moon Ooh, for you. Oh, yeah. And that giraffe. Very Giraffe's gorgeous. awesome. And, and then look dolphin. at that cool cactus. That's beautiful. Yeah. This very, is cool. very beautiful. We, we really, really enjoy this composition. This is very Lisa Frank, too. I like it. It's cool. Very gorgeous composition. <laughs> if I could give just a little bit of a feedback here, because it's such just to be picky, we really love it. Mm -hmm. But you see how on the left side the mountains just kind of abruptly end. Yeah, it's kind of a square here. Yeah. So what I will do is perhaps put a giraffe on that side, just to kind of frame and help. Mm -hmm. Or extend frame the mountain it out. down in there. Or extend the mountain, so maybe add a little bit more of a cloud, mm -hmm. um, and just just to kind of frame it together and make sure that it all looks like it's contained within the cloud. Yeah. But otherwise, it's gorgeous. Love the color palette. Love love the work they've done. Oh, Lise entered in another one. Ooh. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Kitties invasion! Yes! Oh my gosh, there's so Sorry. many cats in Sorry. here. And in the chat as well. Oh yeah, look at this. 
This is really funny though. I love these bees. I love what's inside them. Let's see. Let's it's zoom. super Can you zoom cool. Oh wow, and also look how it's transparent. Yeah. So what we it's did, really we, cool. we used um, like, masking. <laughs> right, and chat. And the, the cat is like, what? Right, what? chat. <laughs> it's really nicely done. I also like the intensity of the Sahara yes. in the background. Yes, very dreamlike. Yeah, very cool. Beautiful. Thanks All for right. the cats. I always appreciate it. Franklin of Texas. Little late in the challenge. Camilo <laughs> did a B. Hi, time. Camilo. Thank you so much Camilo. for taking part. Those are really cool brushes. Yeah, nice bee, too. It looks like a very, very sharp, cool bee. It reminds me of like Sonic. Yeah, so totally. It's like ready. It's this super bee cool. Is ready. It's very superhero. Yeah, kind it's kind of like a super bee. Escafon, too. Yeah. Escafon style bee, like Maestral. Yes, very super nice. Super cool. And you can see the texture of the brushes, which is always a nice touch. Now that's a dog. Oh, that's a sticker. That's Is that a, a sticker? sticker? Yes, Marisa did a sticker. Oh, that's super Good cute. Good sticker, Marisa. Very nice. It's actually nice to see it with an illustration uh, on it cute. instead of just types. And then our last one is, wait, let's see whose it is. Asta. Asta 84. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful bee. So we have um, a little bit of a spray. Looks yeah, like a brush. Yeah, it's more moody. It's like... Uh, Evil yes, Christmas. Yes. <laughs> so again, the only feedback that I will have here, I love the mood. You can totally convey with the color palette. The only thing that I will suggest is to give a little bit of a base to the trees. Mm -hmm. Maybe add another layer of clouds. And um, instead of using screen in terms of blending mode, just create a little mask mm -hmm. and just kind of feel that. So it looks like they're hiding under the cloud and you just give it a base. So good. they're supported. Good call. But like, because you've done it on the left side. Yeah, yeah, uh, this, the left one, side. this one works. It's perfect. It's just nice Need to a have a- a little bit more in yeah, here. Yeah, just a tiny bit. So the looks they are actually mm -hmm. part of the environment. Amazing job, you guys. This is great. Thank you so much for taking part. Tomorrow is- We're going um, back to the gifts. You're going back to the gifts? <laughs> Someone here sent me, should I play it again? Should yeah, I, I know. Again? I was like, back to the gifts. <laughs> should I play that again? I was like, yee! <laughs> How much time do we have? Just so uh, let's see. We've got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. 15 Perfect. Minutes. Sounds great. So we have time to play the gift. Mm -hmm. Let's play oh, that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so we're love playing and lo and all we need is <laughs> Peace and love. No, it's love, love and, and happiness. Peace and love. Oh, <laughs> All we need like is peace, peace and love. love. <laughs> and happiness. Yeah. And Photoshop and illustrators and our amazing apps. So, so cool. We have different things to do. We can jump back into Illustrator or maybe keep playing into Photoshop. Let's let's mm. use um, Asus let's... Ramirez. Uh, mock-up for our oh, yeah. back, uh, backpack Let's make a backpack. and perhaps we can then use it to create a little bit more of an advert with mm -hmm. the leaves we'll see we'll see Monir has an excellent question That's as it. always Monir has the best questions how much time do you spend preparing your project presentation compared to the whole time working on the project I will say that the presentation is probably 10% of the time and a big chunk on the work is actually into research and development <clears throat> of the project. And then something that I heard you say that I strongly believed in is that um, I don't um, spend too much time in believing that what I'm putting out there is the final because it never is. Mm -hmm. So I try not to get too attached to the work that I'm doing and I try to spend more time only to the very, very final presentation, uh, which includes all the file that I'm delivering. So I think it's much more important to make sure that the little folder that you're handing over to the client with the APS file, with perhaps the social media avatars, it's on point. Mm -hmm. and, um, the presentation, of course, is important. And actually, um, I have something for you guys. If you go into my website of resources, I have a logo presentation um, in design file. So that's a brand platform. Um, I have it. Now you don't have to spend any time on it. Yes, you already has space for your logo. Let's see. Yeah, Claudia's given you one. Have it Perfect. In here. If we can download it in the meantime, otherwise, oh, it's already there. Um, so that should be the final presentation or one of the final presentation. 
Um, you can place your logo here, your different version of the logo. I also have a smaller version of the logo and I keep it in black and white because sometimes uh, because of economy, because of practicality, we cannot mm -hmm. print it into color. So you always want to make sure that you are able to use it in black and white paper because sometimes it's white paper and black ink. Mm -hmm. That's, always available. That's uh, what we have available and it needs to be working fine uh, within the uh, practical restriction. Mm -hmm. I also make sure to have um, a legibility test, so a smaller version of the logo, making sure that it works nice and tidy uh, within the different constraints of space, because maybe in a business card or if you're placing it on a t-shirt, you need yep. a small icon, so we need to make sure that it's there. I also have the corporate palette to make sure that the colors are relevant here and the brand mark objectives, which are the core value of the company, because we need to make sure always that we go back to this, the soul of the business, and we need to make sure that the brand really reflects, so all these graphical items that we created reflect uh, the brand mark objectives. It's also good to give the corporate font I usually give the name of the font and a little bit of example of how it declines in all the different letters of the alphabet. And that's how I usually present it. That's fantastic. Version one, version two, version three. And then I add a back cover and a front cover, which is usually uh, my logo, I think. I have it yes, here Joseph to says, give an example. Thank you so much. This is so useful. I'm so glad. So this is my cover, simply the logo of the business and my handle. And then at the back cover, I just have a little thank you, if I remember well, with some information with my number mm -hmm. and uh, the, the email address if they need more questions. And, you know, feel free to use it. That's an InDesign file. If you want to learn more about how to use that, uh, there are previous uh, videos that are still there on YouTube and on Behance uh, that I've done here in a branding masterclass where we talked a little bit more in depth about how to present. But it's there for you. Feel free to use it's it. It's there. Change it. Take it to the next, next direction that fits your project. Back so. Up. Back to home. Oh, right. So we're going to do a backpack mock-up. Backpack. Thank you for reminding me. Whoop. And hopefully you guys have downloaded it yeah, from the resources. Yeah, you can do it along with us. Yes. So let's go into my messy, um, let's see, hopefully it's here, backup, backpack mock-up. Yeah. Here it is. We don't need the timeline for now. We already no. have enough of our beautiful music. We're going to go back into window and uncheck timeline. We don't need you. And here it is. So something exactly. that probably for good housekeeping I'm going to do, and we jumped on this side again. Oh, yeah. Now um, we're over here. Hey. Something that we're going to do for good <laughs> housekeeping is go back into Illustrator mm -hmm. and go into our beloved libraries and mm -hmm. make sure that we drag um, um, the logo, the graphics, into the library. So all I'm going to do is to click and drag into my shapes and then drag them into the library. Cool. Let's see, here it is, yes, thinking. He's already there, he's thinking. As you see, he's loading <laughs> the artwork. Yes. And uh, mm. they're gonna be directly available into Photoshop. And we're gonna see that in a second. We also have the smart object with the pattern. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't use the libraries and if you prefer to work um, in different way, maybe you're not set, you're just trying to use the design mm -hmm. and you, you're not still completely sure that that's gonna be your final and that's why you don't wanna uplo upload it into the cloud, you can still press Command C to copy it and then go back into our mood board in order to place it into our smart object. So Chris is asking, how do you, how export, do you export a gift? A gift? Yeah, yes. We didn't say that. We didn't do that yet. Should we do that first? Do we want to do that or do we want to do mock-ups? Let, let's, let's, let's finish off the gift real quick. Let's, let's finish, finish off. Gift. Let's answer, yeah. let's answer the we'll question. Go to the gift. Let's go back to the gift. Make sure that we have our timeline selected back here. And all we have to do is look at this little panel, this little menu. Mm -hmm. And we go into render video render here. Video. So here that's how you render and you create an MP4 file, which probably be the best for um, Instagram. Okay. All you have to do is to click a render and it creates a little um, loop of the video. Mm -hmm. Or there is another option, which is going into file, export, export as, and you have the option here to choose uh, the GIF okay. format. I don't know why it's oh, in funny. a different... It's not in the... He's Weird. a bit confused. Huh. We are here. Yeah. Let's see hmm. if we do that again. That's weird. 
So export as. <laughs> Is it gonna do it again? <laughs> oh, you silly. So I'm gonna close this because I think I'm getting confused. You thought, thought that we were working on the back part. It's like, oh, Photoshop. And also we didn't save <laughs> this. It's actually my oh, fault. Yeah, save Let me it. go ahead and save it. That's my fault. Oh my fault. gosh, actually it's chat's fault. They're usually supposed to remind us to save. So like, chat, I'm gonna call we rely it on you. What's going on? Hop gif. Is this because we, well, not we, but because I don't like cats. <laughs> I like cats. I know she likes cats. So hopefully now um, we saved it we and we closed the other pages yes. here. And we're going to go into File, Export, and Export as. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. An unknown What's going error. on? What's going on here? Sometimes I'll go to yes. save for legacy. Let's see. Maybe there is another way. Save. So save oh, it's an end to export. export. That's a very save good call. Save for web legacy. Let's see. Thinking. Perfect. Can GIF. Yes. So we're gonna go into uh, file, export, and save for legacy, and find our GIF format here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also you can. Um, I think my computer is just tired. It's been working a lot today. It's like, I need a break. Yes. And then we can zoom out to make sure that we have the right size mm -hmm. and we choose the right color, uh, make sure perhaps that we have um, a little bit of a better view here. And we're going to mess around with these edits um, to make sure that it's the actually color that we want. And then if you see, we can actually play it, making sure that it loops forever or only once. Ooh, forever, And all yeah. you're going to do is to click save in order to save your GIF. Now, and that's how you export. Yes. The most important thing is that you make sure that here you have this little GIF, GIF. set. So uh, remember, I'm just going to do it one more time. Go into um, File, Export, and Save for Web Legacy, and make sure that GIF here is selected. And there you go. And there we go. And that's done. Now you have a GIF. Hopefully that's help. My little computer is looking a little tired here. Well, we only have about we're gonna five close minutes this. left. So I don't know if we're going to do mock-up or not. It's up to you. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do a mock-up. Here we go. Because we have it ready there. Because we're doing um, it. And Mr. Ramirez has done uh, a great job in preparing everything yes. ready for us. So all, the only thing that we have to do is actually double click into this smart object. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't need to update the text. Ooh, and logo we, and logo. Yes, we already have copied the logo from Illustrator. Mm -hmm. So if I press Command V and make sure that we have a smart object, Ooh, yeah. it's already there. So we can have that here. So great. And place it here on under its placeholder. We make sure that our text is gone. Mm -hmm. And we don't really need this little square. Um, we didn't have time to do all the illustration. Uh, but that's enough to show that that belongs to the brand. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to press uh, Command S to save. And then going back into our Ooh. backpack, here it is. We have a little hot backpack. We had already the backpack there. And then there are more things that we can do in terms of adding colors Ooh, to, yeah. the, to the actual backpack. Um, let's see Ooh, yeah. there already. So uh, we already have this group with a color saturation. Probably mm -hmm. what I will do here into the group is go back into our um, hop, Let's zoom into that backpack mood. and see uh, your work. It's yes. beautiful. And in the mood board, we can actually select one of the color from our Ooh. palette and see nice. how these... I like the blue. Yes. Yeah, it looks really good. Nice and fun. And we have these curves into the backpack with our logo. If you mm -hmm. don't like the logo there on top and you prefer to have it on the other placeholder, all we have to do is just kind of drag it back. Mm -hmm. I think we already had this placeholder to make sure that we nice. have it in the right place here. Looking good. And drag it down here. Make sure that we hide the placeholder. Hit save and let's go back into our backpack. Ooh, I like it so there. Cute. It's I nice, more like so you can so, put all your yeah. pins and all your other mm -hmm. um, cool stuff there. Everything together. Well, let's zoom out yeah. and take a look at all of the awesome stuff that you've created. We did a let's GIF, we did back. a backpack, we've got patterns, yes. we've got logos and stickers. And I, I also wanted to show you something 
that you can create and integrate with the brand. Sorry, got a little bit Amazing. of too much going on. Um, so I actually did create a little oh, bit of those fine. waves um, just to give you an idea of how you can contrast with text, you can contrast with shape. Absolutely. But bear in mind that all the background work is into your mood boards. Um, feel free to fill your Illustrator file with all your research. So will you be posting experiment. this project on Behance once it's um, yes. up and final? Of course, okay, I'm going to be posting it. Um, I'm also, you know, if you have any other question, feel free to hit me on Discord. And probably on Monday, I'll be able to wrap this up, oh, finalize wow, it. that's fast. Yes. yes Gosh, that's yes. really fast. Well, it's not going to be the final, 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 okay. final. I'm like, we give you, but we allow yes. you more time. <laughs> yes. I was like, but chat will be really nice. <laughs> it's been amazing to be with you. I hope you guys enjoy all the uh, Mac Cloudy Giver tips. Yes, <laughs> the Cloudy Giver. Um, yeah, Cloudy, it's been such a good show. It's been such a lot of learning, and we we created so much. I also just love that you can add music to gifts. Who knew? I know, I know. So we, thank we danced you so a little much. as well. Thank you so much as well, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you guys. Thank you we'll guys. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>